St. Paul City Council approves a plan for the future of the old Ford plant site. The assembly plant closed in 2011 after slower sales of the Ford Ranger. It has since been torn down. Now, after years of debate, we finally have a decision. Mary McGuire joins us live from the Highland Park site with what the future holds. Good morning, Mary. Good morning to you, Kim. Well, this plan has been 10 years in the making, and it seemed like everyone had their own opinion about what should be here. Last night, city councilors in St. Paul gave their approval in a 5-2 to two vote to rezone this property and get the construction ball rolling. Now, this master plan approved last night deals with the 135 acres of land along the Mississippi River in St. Paul. It aims to rezone the site to include a variety of areas for multifamily residences, shops, retail, public parks, trails, and open spaces. The city also wants it to be a part of the existing street grid so the area can handle the traffic brought on by this new construction. Up until last night's vote, folks still remained divided about the plan. This plan jeopardizes the health, safety, and reputation of our city. A sound plan must be the result of thoughtfulness, calculation, and accountability. What you've presented is none of these nor is it balanced or considerate of the surrounding neighborhood. I think this plan represents a win-win for us. We have a lot of people who want to live in the city, and the proposed density provides places for them to live and tax base for the city that we need to support our existing infrastructure and our future. Now, the city also emphasized that the plan is flexible and will serve as a framework for the future master developer, so some things could change. In the near future, a transportation study will also be done on the area to see the impact of the exact development proposal. Now, St. Paul City officials anticipate that this site will go up for sale sometime in the early part of next year, but you won't see changes here overnight, Kim. This development plan is expected to take place over the next 15 to 20 years. Mary, a lot of people spoke out against this proposal, saying that it would have a big impact on traffic in the area. We know it sits right next to that residential area of Highland Park. Is this plan set in stone, or are there any sort of appeals that people can make? Well, the St. Paul Mayor, Chris Coleman, he still has to give his rubber stamp to the entire thing, so they would have to change his mind if they wanted anything with this development to change, but that might be hard. He has already spoken out in approval. Mary McGuire, thank you.